to act like they weren't doing dirt. You threw out Diamond P name, bitch, so let's get it. I'm going to show everything you said. Every time you show Diamond P went live, how you said Diamond P was having a breakdown, bitch. I'm going to show you. Who got the whole wide world in their hand? See, I'm on Red 39 ass, bitch. You won't act innocent today. You won't act innocent today, you cry, baby, bitch. I'm going to tell your ass up, ho. If the whole check got to be exposed, it's going to be exposed today, bitch. Just because I'm going to show every bit of how you ran your mouth, you did shit, you shared lies, you went in Diamond P Live, and you also said, do y'all think Diamond P is having a breakdown? Bitch, don't start with me. Told you, bitch, don't start bringing up shit with my motherfucking name, because, bitch, I got the receipt. Petty. I don't know if you know Red 39 call herself saying Ashley was a flunky for Diamond P. Red was going in the goddamn rooms recording talking about Diamond P was having nervous breakdowns right in the back in the goddamn chat. Watching her. Don't play with me, bitch, when I can expose you. Don't act like you was just sitting there being quiet, bitch. When I got your voicemails and everything, I can expose you from top to bottom, you fat face bitch. You big back hoe. Bitch, you over there looking like some government cheese. You melted ass, shredded bitch. Y'all go sit your big nasty ass down, you big summer belly having hoe. Do this look like a bitch that's innocent? Do y'all think Diamond P is having a breakdown? Sharing the lies and shit? Why you over there running your mouth, bitch? I have it on your ass today, ho. But the thing is with the chat, if I expose you, I expose Petty, I expose Keo, I expose Cole, I expose Lee, I expose a lot of people, Key Montana, I expose a lot of people in that chat. And there's a lot of people I'm not trying to expose their messages, bitch. But Red 39, you better keep it motherfucking cute, bitch. Because you was definitely on Diamond P top. Let me get you out of here, bitch. However many years it is, they go back and they make it fill up for this year, bitch. Don't make me get on your motherfucking top. Don't play me, bitch. Matter of fact, Petty, let's reset admins. Because I don't want different people just coming in here. That ain't been in here taking over my admin ministry. I know Petty up in here. Now you, Petty only got admin. I'm resetting my admin ministry. Because I don't need people just running in my room kicking. If you don't understand what's going on, don't kick nobody out of my fucking room. Red 39. Let me tell your big power puff marshmallow man looking ass something. You diesel mechanic built bitch. Sit your nasty ass down. And I need to see if you file bankruptcy again. Because you ain't moving bitch because you, you're buying a new house. Your motherfucking ass must have filed bankruptcy or something bitch. 
or having to sell that house for more money because your ass going broke. Run around here sending that knockoff ass Gucci and Louis Vuitton, ho. I'm going to have to look your nasty ass up. Good morning, baby. Chopper, I don't want nobody kids. Unless they send some very derogatory. Thank you, baby. Thank you for the gifts. I appreciate them. This big nasty, hefty, heavy trash bag built. <clears throat> Akeem of Elijah Warren shoe wearing bitch. Love to keep my name in her motherfucking mouth. Bitch, you was buying purses and buying everything you could to be trying to 504 friend. When you found out Dale didn't want to give you that dick, bitch, you went crazy, ho. You want the fit in, bitch. You wanted the goddamn lovers retreat. And when you found out everybody was coming and Dale was coming to give your big fat ass no love, your big ass bag back, bitch. You was using everybody to get the Dale. You better sit your big nasty ass down. Because if we talked about Diamond P, you talked about Diamond P, bitch. If we talked about God, you talked about God, bitch. You did everything we did because you want to fit in, your fat bitch. Your big Mary Mac face hoe. Ain't no way you're going to be in a group chat if you ain't talking, bitch. And this, I'm going to go to church. Church, don't kick nobody. And uh, it, it, I'm, re I'm, 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 I'm doing the admin ministry. And uh, we, we don't want nobody coming in kicking for personal problems or none of that. This fat bitch, and they talked about Diamond P, and I would never say nothing. I heard you this morning, bitch. They woke me up a time, and I would never do nothing. No, you got to say this, man, to me. You ain't never did nothing. Well, bitch, why, why, why are you all up and up after you post a picture of Charlie? You talking about do y'all think Diamond P is having a nervous breakdown? Then I'm going to where you were showing our live. Every time the girl went live, you shared it so we could see it. Girl, you better sit your big nasty ass down. You better sit your big Daisy Duke wearing ass, big Fupa on the whooper, big Egg McMuffin, big Sasha McGriddle built ass down somewhere, you fat bitch. And I said what the fuck I said, and you ain't gonna do a motherfucking thing about it. You worry about your little dick sucking, eye popping, gudging ass daughter, and your little faggot ass son that want the milk and cookies, bitch. Don't worry about what the fuck I got going on and what the fuck I'm talking about, bitch. You love to put my name in your mouth because you want my bra and you got my titties inside your titties, bitch. You got the spirit of my chest inside of you, bitch. But you will never be me, bitch. I wouldn't give a fuck how much you put on my two little ass bra that's too little for your big ass titties. You water mock a snakehead bull, bull face, bitch. Sit your nasty ass down somewhere. Playing on my motherfucking time. Thank you for the gifts, y'all. You want to be so involved, bitch. Once I found out China 504 got a hand in this, I backed the fuck out. I say, well, she done found a way to get closer to the next person that's in charge. Let me bag out. Because China 508, baby, going to stay. Around a person that she think in charge of some big because she trying to be big, honey. Once I seen her and Tommy K have good and written going on, and now that Tommy K is taking over the church and trying to 504 is making sure that's all right here, man. I'm begging back, honey. Y'all notice for her to be gone and be sick and disappear and nowhere around, she keep her hand in the cookie jar. She always somewhere at the top messing with somebody, playing on somebody hard with them sick ass receipts that ain't real, playing on somebody hard with that goddamn big old money she get from them people check. She always somewhere playing on somebody. And y'all church, if y'all let her take over, y'all stupid as fuck. He said nobody was in charge. I 
would give a fuck what she is. Admin ain't shit. Admin don't get paid a goddamn thing. <laughs> That's why I give it to any and everybody. But you know, bitch, I told y'all Tommy K was gonna take over. No shade. I told y'all Tommy K was gonna take over. No shade. I told y'all Tommy K was going to come through and clean up the house. Clean it down and wipe it down. Get them out the way. I ain't mad at it. Shit ain't my goddamn group. I don't have a group. I don't like them goddamn groups, bitch. I don't do that, the big old family. Didn't I say it? I said, y'all watch Tommy. Tommy coming to take over. She in, she in charge of the other of the church, too. By Felicia mad at what? What would she be mad at? China 504 around. See, China 504 use the bitch to get to a bitch. It don't matter. By Felicia, you got used, bitch. Tried to sell your hoe. She used the bitch to get to a bitch. Now I bet you she barely call you and barely talk to you because she always talking to uh, Tom McKay. Bitch, China 504 is calculating. Very calculating. Very calculating, sweetie. Pay me. Hey, I tried to sell y'all. Y'all didn't want to listen. I was a liar. I was a hater. Tried to sell y'all. Watch it. Watch out. Watch out. I want to keep your eyes on me. Don't watch me, bitch, because I always reveal myself. Don't watch me, bitch, because it don't take long to figure out I'm up to something. You watch the bitches this. Why? You watch the bitches that love you. You watch the bitches that always want to give money. You watch the bitches that want to be so close and, and, and so in love because them bitches busy trying to pay their way so you can't see them because they know the money going to blind the bullshit. Nicole Benny straight G. What the fuck? The, don't, don't come up here mentioning her, bitch. Keep her name out your mouth. Girl, how you know Pam took money? Where's the proof of it? Where's the proof of it? Tommy asked for receipts last night and the person lied and said, they sent a thousand dollars with no receipts to Tommy K. They don't come up here with that fake ass stuff lying now. We need extra receipts that you send money. That y'all send her money for P. Ain't nobody gave no receipt where they send money for P and Pammy stole it. Let's be fair. Thank y'all for the gifts. Ain't nobody send a receipt. Can anybody show me a receipt where Pam, Miss Pam, stole money? No, Red 39 says she had a breakdown in the messages. And I showed that because Red 39 this morning was saying, we all talked about Diamond P and she would sit back and be quiet. I was showing that Red 39 talked about her just as well as we all did. So Red 39 needs to sit her big fat Sacho Bob, big back bacon smelling ass down. That's what I was showing. The church say it's 3.49 a.m. Where's the proof that Pam is stealing money? I'm so confused, but I refuse to go to Bigo to get clarification. This Miss P. All I know is that too many people are speculating on how Key would or will act and what he would or will say. I've been watching him since 2017, and I've been friends with him since 2020. There's a difference in, 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 in none. Nonetheless, I would be hard-pressed to say how he'll act and react. He's not predictable. 
what I do know is loyalty. And then it's cut off. I'm sorry, but all this stuff Sammy said, we would have never knew about past the current state. Why say he in a faculty in, in a wheelchair? It's the Mo Church group. Never would have bypassed the current state. Why say he in the faculty in a wheelchair? Y'all better pay attention to this high ranking snake. It's sad to hear what's going on. I hope it's not true. If it is, what's up to me? Nobody from Bigo with CP. Somewhere once I sue. At this point, you can't trust anyone. Auntie Pammy has been going to CP. Nothing about pictures came up until now. I would have have to see the receipts evidence. Maybe somebody else took the pictures. If there are pictures not saying she is innocent, but we don't know. Can't put nothing past nobody these days. The rumors are speculated. All are mixed up. No one has real proof of the situation. People saying the wrong badge is getting dropped. This is a mess. Lord, fix this. I missed the whole live. I'm getting bits and pieces of the story. Please stop asking me my opinion of the situation. Honestly, I'm staying out of it. Pastor would be disappointed. I'm not a part of the church, but I used to watch Pastor a lot. And I honestly think immediate family should just shut off all visitation and so far the notice because it's becoming messy and this is not the time when he is healing it's the church i rarely talk in this group but i have to say in the six years i've been following keith the church this isn't first time pammy has done some questionable snakish ish and keith knows this i'll leave it to that Pam is a day one, and we used to work together for P in the beginning. I'm riding with Pam. Murder. Stop trying to force people to stand with Pammy because she day one. When family has issues with her, I'm riding. So that's from the church, the mega church. This crazy pastor said, absolutely, no disrespect to Auntie Pammy. Don't fault something for what happened. Some of y'all must have forgotten how P get down. You do some op shit behind the scene. Uh, what would P do? He would gather his receipts. I'm in my feelings for the first time at 47 years old. I can't deal with life right now. I know Keith Jones had been around lives today. He would he would have had a solution by now. I need advice. Lord, it's 6 a.m. in the morning. I can't sleep. Y'all, it don't bother me. Low was on my Facebook page. Ain't nothing there from him at all. He can look all he want. I don't care. Kadisha Jones. I got messages left and right. It's fine. Y'all, I'm a part of the congregation. This is what they do. They have no consent. I ain't been live since last Thursday. I've been out of the states visiting my family. I'm not studying them, he or she, um, nobody. Anyways, continue to pray for Pastor P. Who is Kadisha Jones? Now, I don't dislike Samila K. But the way she up there defending that Taylor lady is ridiculous. She sit up some, it's, it's cut out to the side and the side. I'm going to say this after this. I'm going to try not to speak on it no more. Why is Pam driving to people's houses to show a picture of Keith? What the fuck is this to show and tell? First of all, I wouldn't have wanted the picture like that. Keeping my phone. The pictures. Hmm? You see, you see what I just sent you? Yeah. So what? I, that's uh, whose picture is that? That's a uh, pop smoke or somebody like that. They they try to see. Default crazy man. What you doing? You all right? I'm just reading, you know, they uh cuss Pammy out and uh kicked her out, kicked Joe 39 out, I mean Joe out and everything. 
Yeah, that was that was uh Auntie Pam just told me that this morning. Could you uh tell Auntie Pam, can you give her my number to call me? Yeah. Please. All right. Ask the wish she I mean ask the wish she call me. All right. Okay, baby. Okay, so I promise you. This was a setup like I was a setup. Like I was getting ready to expose that they said Keith was smoking crack. And Shauna 504 came up there and hear up and cut it off and say, She was talking about my grandbaby. She hear it up and ran in there. Like, ooh, Ashley about to tell that I said KO beating them said Keith smoked crack. So let me think of something. And she came up there, B, she was talking about my grandbaby. And that threw off the whole thing we was there for. When Keith was finna get down to me, Ivy, and KOB, and them saying he smoked crack, and Shana 504 knew she was the one saying it, and telling me exactly when it happened, she ran up there. It was like, B, she was talking about my grandbaby. And the whole thing just stopped and said, what? She was talking about your grandbaby. Then by Felicia came up there, yeah, P, she been a snake. She been talking about stuff. She been doing stuff to 504. They just had lied on me. And then Keith forgot all about the crack smoking stuff and everything. And, and, and everything just stopped. The bitch had to hear up and think of something. That bitch know I ain't talked about no grandbaby because it wasn't a grandbaby to talk about at first. You still friends with Cuddy. 504. And at one time, you wanted Cuddy and Scout to seal the deal. You ain't. Don't think one time, I don't think you excited for your brother Cuddy and your victory. Because you never got over Keith exposing you being bald headed and a criminal and not a cop and a liar. Just like you couldn't take the fact I exposed the truth about you, Keith O'Neill Jones was the first person to ever expose your identity because you lied and told us your real name was China. You told us you was a policeman. You told us you was a lifeguard, a life coach. You told us you was rich. You told all kind of lies. And my brother that's laying there, Keith O'Neill Jones was the first one to reveal who you really was from your bald headed ass head to your freaky videos to your nasty text messages all the way down to your criminal background and bitch you never got over it just like you wanted me to go down for exposing you you wanted him to go down instead you put me in jail you couldn't uh, have nobody kill me because everybody was already watching you for going down there to Atlanta trying to get cutty and motherfucking scout to do the job for you so you couldn't do that move with me so you had to go put fake charges on me to sit me down for a few days and hold me over not to say nothing but baby you come after anybody that exposes you it bothers you it hurts you it torments you you be in a mirror how do i do this i'm gonna kill him i'm gonna put him in jail you like a mad woman on lifetime bitch you hate keith for exposing your house for exposing you want to fuck him for exposing you girl you hated him like you hated me me and keith did the same thing to you we both exposed you and you hated him and you want to get your lick back and bitch i promise you getting it back you got me but bitch i had money and bitch i got even more money if you want to try again bitch i'm sitting on a couple of hundred thousands you who cheating us? If he cheating, I'm cheating too, bitch. High five. Now, anyways, you don't like to be exposed. You ran to Brandon when Keith exposed you. You ran to L when Keith exposed you. You was so mad when Keith in the church exposed you. You was throwing 20 and 30 and 40 and 60 and 80 dragons on everybody that didn't like Keith. Bitch, you was spending money. Bitch, you was throwing yachts. Seven, eight, nine, ten yachts. You wanted anybody that didn't like him, anybody, baby. 
You was after him. You hated him. You know what made you start liking him? Me. When you seen me and him was cool, and I had the power to invite him to the meet and greet, you used me to do it. How that hate went away so quick, sister? Because you was just hating him in December. And I made y'all get cool in December. Then all of a sudden, you develop love. And then you had to push the bitch out the way that got you close to pastor. Me. Because he wasn't fucking with you. He had exposed that ass. And you was writing Ebony, and Ebony got messages. Of you saying how he exposed you and you're going to get me and him in due time. You sold it to Lady Pink. You sold it to a lot of women that's sitting around right now. That you was going to get me and him for exposing your hair. Exposing your everything. Hold on, let me get you out of here, bitch. I ain't your goddamn cousin. So, I think you still getting your revenge back. And the, and, and the only way you can move in and really work on the church is why Keith is down. Now you over there flirting with ghosts and laying over ghosts and stuff, or whatever you doing with ghosts. Don't think I didn't know. Don't think we didn't know. Don't think somebody ain't telling us this. That's why you all up Tommy K ass and Tommy K and them get ends with ghosts. It, it don't matter. It don't matter. I know what I know. Hell, we all married. Everybody was married and they got pregnant and everything else while married. Marriage don't stop shit. That ain't nothing but a piece of paper. Church, I'm going to tell y'all like this. Y'all got a bigger snake. A bigger snake in this. Yeah, that's working with y'all new master. I mean, with y'all new uh, CEO, Tommy K. Hi, what's going on, baby? Good morning, cousin. So, I was saying, um, I feel like even though I feel like Tommy shouldn't be taking nobody's badge, I feel like she should. If she's that upset as a woman, we leave situations alone. You know what I'm saying? Leave Keith's group out. I feel like leave Keith's group how he had it. And if you're that mad, you can leave the group. But if you still love Keith, you can still fuck with Keith. You don't have to have the badge or taking people's badges to fuck with Keith. Like, if you drop your badge because you don't want to deal with the BS and still fuck with Keith, bitch, that shows your loyalty. Like, why the fuck you dropping people badges and shit like that? Like, that don't make no sense. Like, you and as, Joe just, as a Joe, woman, Joe we, agree to disagree. There's nothing wrong with Joe disagreeing. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And she honestly, she didn't show any receipts. For her to, for her to do that to Miss Pammy, Keith's number one. You have to show proof, bro. You didn't show nothing saying that that lady asked for anything or took anything. That's weird as shit. And that's fucked up. And then you dropping people badge. They say, uh, I got, they, they said Keith, Joe didn't have a badge until Keith left. Joe didn't have a badge until Keith left. This is not a church attack, and this is not a tomcat attack. This is a deeper attack because I know what's going on. I've been bamboozled. Tommy K is being bamboozled. They got the biggest cobra.
Good morning, Ashley. You are so right, right. love. Because I remember when that other situation went down and they did you that way, you don't know what be going on. Tommy K just sitting there. They, so they gonna, we're going to use Tommy as a scapegoat because everybody's going to automatically be mad at Tommy K and they know it. So we like, like you said, that girl was smart. And I know what you talk about from before. She did the same thing with you. So everybody, they already like, well, Ashley lied. Ashley ain't lying this time, yo. Y'all better pay attention. I'm telling y'all. It'd be a lot of snakes in the grass. Even OG said it. Even though I don't like him, he said it. Them a lot of shit is bullshit. OG Murder said, OG Murder, I got to get a prop from prop dude. He said, this something ain't right about this shit, y'all. Pay attention. Something fishy going on. And it ain't about Tommy K. But everybody going, Tommy K going to be the scapegoat. Watch. Right. And I, and I hear what you say. And, and, and when Keith do start talking to me, you're going to be made to look bad. And guess what yep. the snake going to do? She going to yep. eat her way on back yep. out. You all right, and Ashley. You, I, I've been surgery. paying attention too. Go back to her neck surgery and now she's taking a break. Tommy K, listen, if you never believed yep. in me, you're right, I'm love. telling you now, stay away from that. I don't know what it look like. The, the, the sob stories, the, the, the grandma being sick, the mama being sick. Oh, my rape uh, case is coming up. You got to know it, honey. None of it is real. It's all uh, 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 fake, honey. It's all fake. I don't give a fuck about the mama and Miss White right now. They real life. We talking about social media. The mama ain't said expose nobody. Keith, mama's a young fly, fly thing. She don't give a fuck about this app. Yeah, she she taking that bait. She taking that bait. Me and Demo and a lot of us been around for years. They say Bob Felicia mad, but Bob Felicia, I know you hate me, baby, but you got used. You ain't needed no more, sis. Cause you can't keep calling peace, telling peace she's sick. And this and that and this and that. You not used no more. So now you mad because of the change going on. And guess what? Your girl 504 ain't going to include you in nothing that her and Tommy got going on. Because now she didn't build a new bond with her. By baiting her in. Low key throwing her gifts. Low key talking to her. Baby, she just go from person to person, baby. I'm not worried about no Miss White because Miss White ain't a part of this app. Trust me, Miss White was told something. She she was questioned. Miss White just know what she told. They told Miss White, Pam is getting money to send to you. And Miss White say, well, Pam haven't gave me any money. Don't nobody know if Pam really got money yet to send. They know she got money from 504 for her personal food and gas. Somebody went down and run their mouth. Well, Miss White, because you know Tommy K don't like Pam and Pam don't like Tommy K. Did Pam give you those cash shops? Not knowing that Miss Pam got cash shops or not. So Miss White say, well, no, she haven't gave me the cash shops. So Miss White don't know if it's really cash shops there or not neither. Well, Miss White don't know nothing. She 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 busy worried about her significant other and her graduating from registered nurse school and taking care of her kids. That woman just know what people calling her, telling her, and it's a shame that everybody is calling her with bullshit. Everybody. That woman shouldn't know nothing going on with these. And Miss White, I know y'all be listening to me sometimes, Danny, you do. Delete the goddamn group. Lock the group down. Since it's mess, let them, let, let, let them, let them do their own. Yeah, remember a couple of weeks ago, Miss White announced that Miss White said she don't want no cash apps. She don't want nothing from nobody. She don't want nobody to cash at her. She don't want nobody to sell her. She don't want nobody to do nothing, this, that, and the third. Remember, that was like two or three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Tommy K just said 
Tommy K said, but you know, we're still gonna be sending our donations, you know, yeah. those who da, 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 da. so now you Tommy K going back because she know that Pammy told her she was on live. So now Tommy K went and said, Listen, that lady is crazy. She is getting money from these people and not giving it to people. So that's what's making Miss White feel like, you know, well, damn, this lady says she close to us. You know what I'm saying? Like, so now she don't fucking know because everybody fucking calling her, everybody in her ear, everybody saying that, everybody saying that shit is fucking annoying. She's tired of dealing with shit. She don't want to hear about that shit. Tommy K dead for wrong as a woman. So like you go to her. I'm the messiest bitch that you can do too much. She's, as soon as she got home actually and got comfortable in that nasty place she lived in. As soon as she got home, bro, she couldn't wait to expose everything she knew what was going on. But I, I'ma say this with a new keep key. Didn't expose nothing to the ops. She only told people she trusted to show that he was looking good. Cause y'all said she say, oh, he look good. She wasn't in China 504. It's the way she play on people. Y'all gotta understand, baby. You gotta be a victim of her to know how she play on people. When that bitch get through telling you her story, bitch, you'll be sitting to her. You got there, my choice and everything else. You feel so bad for the girl. Pammy probably say, don't worry, baby. He look, I went to see him the other day. He not dead. He, he go a picture right here of him. But she took it. Why would she? Okay. If, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be Keith Jones today. Keith would have said, say 504, you been quiet. You been fucking with Cuddy and, and calling me from time to time. If you you knew Pammy and you know Auntie Pammy and Tommy K had a problem. Did you feel the need to wake up and call Tommy K and tell Tommy K you gave Auntie Pammy money? What was the purpose? Tommy not over my church. Tommy just my sister and the admin. By Felicia, you hang with by Felicia. You you, you could have went to murder. You could have went to Miss P. Why did you go to Tommy K and tell her Pammy? You gave Pammy some money for a room. Pammy, honey, five hundred four send you send it back to her. Let me tell you something. When China 504 do dirt, she asks people to fix it to make her not look messy. I, it's nothing you can tell me. I done rolled them shoes. When that bitch would slip up and tell shit and people be on her ass, she be like, Asha, now everybody mad at me. You need, to, you need to say something. Now they all coming for me. Now they all coming for me calling Reggie gay. And then I would get on there and say, and China 504 ain't said nothing. I did this myself. Knowing damn well she had her hand in a cookie jar. I used to go lie plenty of time, and my sister didn't tell me to say nothing. She ain't did nothing. She's calculating. I'm going to tell you something. She's the most serious person to deal with because she's an undercover snake. Now, raise your hand if, she, if you thought she's in recovery. Right now, for all these two major surgeries, she went live and say she was having it. She won't be back on Bigo. She got bigger fish to fry. She can't worry about no Bigo stuff. How many of y'all thought she was probably laying down somewhere with her legs up getting her rest? Because every time she go live, she got a praise report or a sorrow report, and she get ready to undergo surgery. Even her hysterectomy didn't last six weeks. She was back at the income tax office going live with them big-ass jaws.
No, make them get up and throw it. Yeah. Yeah. Wake them up. Y'all probably seen this, but she was definitely on PP Live last night. But Who I, was? I'm, I'm getting down. Miss P, I'll get down. Miss <laughs> P was on Kiki Live. Miss P. Who is Miss P? Miss Pam? Oh, Miss Postmaster. Miss 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 Postmaster came and saw me yesterday too. Y'all come is coming too fast. Oh, Miss P with the big breasts. Oh, Miss P wrote a post shot in here. She said Keith wouldn't have did this. Miss P ain't down with this exposing and cussing Miss Pam out. Miss P ain't down with it. With the big with the big breasts and the glasses. Miss P ain't down for it. What did Kiki say? Cause Kiki is a bed in this. I know that ain't the same bitch. I said with the big titties. Patricia. That's my name is Patricia. Big titties. Paula. Yeah, big Paula. Big Paula Mims. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes. Baby, I don't want no American court. Alicia, stop calling my damn phone. Hello? Hello? Come in the box and say what y'all got to say. Let me see if I got a call in number for the people scared to show their damn face. Phone. Phone. I don't want y'all with my goddamn number. Google number. Hold on, bitch. Yeah. I said call in, bitch. Ashley. Okay, baby. How you doing today? I'm good. How you doing? Girl, I'm good. Just working from home. Um, this situation is very interesting. I love church, mind you, so nobody sit here and try to get clips and say I'm talking shit. Mm. But it does happen a lot in these Beagle families where the older people that have been in the family longer feel like they have more um, rights to the host. I feel like that happens a lot, even in my family. So I'm not surprised by this, unfortunately. Um, it's just interesting because they are older women. So you would think that maybe they go about it a different way. Um, but not surprising once again. Cause it just it just happens, and it's a little unfortunate that all this is happening like this. Do I think Tommy was wrong? Maybe in some instances, yes, but not fully because P does the same thing. He exposes people on his life. He gets all his receipts, all his tea, and then he exposes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I understand where she's coming from in that aspect because we gonna expose the snake, and some things happen a little fishy. You know. Even us outsiders be seeing it, but we just don't speak on it because it's not our place. And I'm not going to really say too much about it, but we definitely have seen things and be like, okay, do that person moving a little funny, that person moving funny, but hey, I'm going to keep out of it. So, yeah, I don't know. The situation is really mixy. I'm going to just keep watching. And honestly, 
prayers for P. I know P is getting back stronger, and that's all we should be worried about right now. You right about that, boo boo. But the thing is, we ain't seen no goddamn receipts. I'm with you when you're right, but ain't no receipts been proven. Who just fought it? Bitch, you a motherfucking liar. Girlfriend, she just grunted and got up uh, uh, from sitting on my thing. And he ain't for it. And nobody for it, bitch. I don't play that for it and shit. Bitch, go for it somewhere. And bitch, you know what? If a, if a motherfucker did for it, oh well. Even though I didn't. But if I did, bitch, this is my motherfucking bed. And if I want to shit in this motherfucker, <laughs> bitch, that's the name. Bitch, if I want to shit in this motherfucker, I will too. Bitch, don't get the game fucked up. Tell me what I, what I can and can't do in my motherfucking house. This is my house for two, three more weeks, bitch. Whatever I want to do in this bitch is, is my prerogative. Prior, prior, whatever the fuck. Bitch, sit, sit y'all bitch ass down. Let me download the app. Somebody, somebody shit it in the bed. I mean, fought it in the bed. Girl, sit your nasty ass down. Girl, I'm too classy for that. I'm a classy bitch. Kyo, please stop. As much as your nasty ass really for it for real, that shit trifling. And I don't much know why you would find that funny. That's weird for people to even much think some shit like that funny. And talk like that. I bust not even supposed to talk like that. Bitch ain't nothing cute about no grown ass person. Open up their legs for it and this shit. That shit is this is, is nasty. Fumigating. Spreading your funk, bitch. Let me get an easy number, because y'all a little slow. And I am too. Everybody don't for it, because I don't. That's why my insides fucked up, bitch. Because I don't be... I, you know, if ain't nobody... <laughs> Girl, y'all crazy. Look. Oh, okay. You have a blue suit. That's probably why I don't really be eating no more, bitch. I thought it was depression. Probably be your fault on the goddamn groceries. You damn, Ashley. I forgot. I'd have been in the queue for a minute. I didn't know you was. I got a call in number I made. Six four. Uh -oh. Write it down. Six four seven four eight nine nine one one three. Everybody, write it down. Six four seven four eight nine nine one one three. You had something to say about the church, Tommy K, or something like that. 
Oh, I was about to say the receipts. I think you had already said it. Like, that's the thing. We waiting for the receipts. The receipt that was shown, that shit is not credible. I mean, even yet and still, if the people sent money to Auntie Pammy, even in the text message, Auntie Pammy said she didn't ask the people for nothing. You can't stop what people send to your cash app. That still don't mean that she was collecting money and not, you know, turning it in or stealing money or whatever the case may be. As far as the picture, that, like y'all said, that was a picture that was shared in a small group chat. So, I don't know. But anyway, Ms. White did make a post. Well, she didn't make a post, but she made a long comment today. So, Ms. White is not in agreement with what's going on that Tommy oh, K. Baby, did. Read it to me. Send it to me. Hold on. Send it to I got me it. now. I got it right here. Read it. Hold on. Everybody listen. Hold on. Let me sit up. Because I was laying down. When you come to box, hold on for one minute. Hold your thought, boo boo. Let me go back to it. Because I took a screenshot, but I'm going to actually go back to it from the post. So, um, somebody had made a post and was like... Don't kick nobody, brother. Don't tell me to hurry up. Don't okay. Somebody. somebody had made a um. Somebody had said um. When did his family say Miss P was stealing? When? Oh my God! And then she had come. Miss White had commented and said, "Um, where are y'all getting? Where are y'all getting that?" I said Pam was stealing. I never said that. It was brought to my attention that it might have been a cash. That it might have been some cash absent that I never received. But I have not received any proof yet. And I didn't make a Zelle because I thought Pam was stealing or because Keith's Ash cash out was closed. I already had a Zelle account. I had it for years. And I didn't ask nobody to send me anything. That's why I never gave out my personal cash out or Zelle. Because I'm tired of people thinking that I'm taking money for him for my own monetary gain. And I haven't requested a damn thing. Even with the P.O. box, I was asked by his followers to make a P.O. box just so they could send cars and stuff, not not anything money-wise. Also, also, I was asked for my Zelle because I wasn't giving out my cash out to nobody because Tommy said it was people really wanting to support Keith, and I told her to make sure she let everybody know that I'm not requesting for anyone to send anything. I never ask, and I never will. I understand there's a lot of people that follow Keith, and there's a lot of people that has contribute to putting money in his pockets and regardless how some feel they don't give they don't give nobody a right to feel like oh i'm cash apping her i deserve to know everything that's going on with him because if it was your family member would you do that or would you be protecting your peace of mind and privacy people have to understand that he's a big that his big old life and his real life are two different things did he have a lot of meet and greets where he met a lot of people? Yes. But I base my decision on who I know for a fact that he really messed with outside of Bigo. But even with that, I got to start moving differently because I'm tired of all this BS that's going on. So, yeah, please stop putting my name in the midst of all of this. And you don't have to. I see somebody in the comments. If you can't send it to my Google phone, I'm going to give my cell phone number in your inbox. I just seen somebody in the comments and said that it wasn't her. It's clearly Miss White. It's right here. Denisha White. I don't got a lot no, no, about look, nothing. Write some in my inbox real quick. I'm going to send you my number. Follow me. Right now, I'm going to send you my cell phone number, but don't give it to nobody. Okay. Because you know, I'm rich now. They'll try to call me for money. So write me a, <laughs> follow me and write me a message. I just followed you. No, let me see. You know, a bitch that got rich, you got to check. Write some in my inbox. Hold on. I might got to drop down. Oh, no, I don't. Are we going to show it? the evidence? We going to show the evidence? And then I know it's two more people in the queue. We coming. You see, you, um. 
So Miss White didn't come up with the conversation saying nobody was stealing. That was a lie. That was a lie. It was a lie about Miss White being in agreement with Tommy. When Tommy was like, and Miss White, she knows about this. Miss White say, and now Miss White, White trying say to she don't trust nobody at this point. Now Miss White trying to figure out where the hell we getting all this from that you know she said that uh Auntie Pammy was stealing and all this. She trying to figure out where did all this come from because she didn't say that. And furthermore, she don't need none of nobody's money. She never asked for nobody money. But okay, I'm about to send it to you. Okay, baby, that's my number. Don't give it to nobody because you know I'm a little bit I got a little bit of money. I'm giving me a house bill. They're a little jealous about it. Oh, oh come on, sister. Good morning, Ashley. I just, I, for my own. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Little Okay, come on, baby. My own perspective, my thing is this. If the family wasn't taking pictures, sending out videos, why would she think as his friend, somebody that he loved, and if she really loved him, why would you even video anything? She didn't video you... him. The, the family did take pictures. Miss White put the picture in there, and somebody was acting like they was going crazy because they thought Pete was dead, and she sent somebody a picture just to show them he's okay, he's not dead. She sent somebody well, she, she trusted. Made... She didn't pass it around to no officer to the internet. It never made it to the internet. She just sent it to somebody who she thought was her friend to show them that Keith is doing good. Yeah, but you know what, Ashley, well, even still, though, because as a spectator on here, I know that Pete wasn't messing with 504 after that incident with you. Yep. He said he, he didn't trust it, but he's going to keep her close. Yeah. He said he didn't trust that to put yeah. me in jail, but he's going to keep her and close. And I'm saying that to say, if she really knew him the way everybody saying she knew him, she wouldn't have never crossed that line to show her any, anybody anything especially at his worst that's that's my point i knew he wasn't messing with 504 after that incident between you and her you could see it in his demeanor and the things that he said and how he said certain things like you could see he that. told me on the phone and i hope he and, and, and i hope he get him he gonna tell you ain't no lie he say say i don't want to say too much because the way she moving she moving funny he say bro just be careful. He say, man, because, man, she she moving weird. And Air Reese was on that phone. Even though she up some K-ass and she don't want to admit it. That man say she moving funny. He say, man, I don't know, bro. He say, I, don't, I, I ain't much for to say nothing about her, bro. But she had me locked up. Why, why even do that? Like, why not let this moment be between you and him? You're one of the few people on Bingo that's even able to go see him. So why not keep that moment between just you and him? Why do anything for anybody? It's just, to me, it's shady. I would have never did nothing for nobody, especially somebody that I know really don't mess with this person at this point for real. So it just still seems, it just seems shady to me, you know, but that's, that's my perspective on it. It just seems very shady. Uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to say, um, this is his real life. This is his real reality. I don't give a fuck how much he fucked with nobody on motherfucking Beagle. Everybody on this motherfucking app done fell out with him. Everybody fall out with each other on this app. Nobody is to be trusted with a picture or anything at all whatsoever. Like, I don't care who it is. This is family business. Let family business be family business. People need to, like, this shit is content for Biko. People are looking for content. People don't really care. And you know these people don't care. It's people that's wishing he did. Some people acting like they care. Really right. Like, like, it's sick. It's people that th what wanted him dead and shot at him, not acting like they his best friend. Yeah, that's weird. weird. Now, should Demo be around? Yes. Because he ain't never tried to shoot him or kill him. But a lot, everybody that's, that, that's sitting with him now, his right hand, tried to kill him. Or one of them did. This is Miss White. And I'm going <laughs> to reread in a minute. It, it don't say nothing when I read. Right, let me get on down. I want to help Miss White got to say. No, no, no. Tell what you got to say. Or oh, you want to say something after? Yeah. No, I'm 
No, I want to say, hey, Ashley, and I want to say, you know, I, li I like Keith, and I hope Keith is all right, but I want to hear what Ms. White had to say. I'm just I'm just walking into the room. So okay, here you go. Keith. Yes, all right, baby. Let me get out. Uh, since Red Thirty Nine stole my word, the newest smelly bitch pushed me over to my fourth star, cause I'm delivering today. And I'm for the call, Miss Pam, and see if she wanna be out the phone or on the phone. And then I'm coming back with Miss Pam's side and how she feels of losing her badge after being with the congregation for over twenty years. Now let's go. Marie Smith, where are y'all getting this? I said Pam was stealing. I never said that. It was brought to my attention that it might be some cash absent that I never received. But I have not received any proof yet. Hold on, bitch. I know you lying to me. Hold on, bitch. Marie Smith, where are y'all getting this that I said Pam was stealing? I never said that. It was brought to my attention that it might be some cash I sent that I never received. But I have not received any proof yet. And I... Didn't make a there because I thought Pam was stealing or because Keith Cash out was closed. I already had a Zell account. I hadn't I had uh it for years. And I don't ask nobody to send me anything. That's why I never gave out my personal cash out for Zell because I'm tired of people thinking I'm trying to get money for him for my own monetary gain. And I haven't requested a damn thing. Even with the P.O. box. I was asked by his followers to make a P.O. box just so they can send cards and stuff. Not anything money-wise. Also, I was asked for my Zelle because I wasn't giving out my cash out to nobody. Because Tommy said it was people really wanting to support Keith. And I told her to make sure she let everybody know that I am not requesting for anybody to send anything. I never asked and I never will. I understand there's a lot of people that follow Keith and there's a lot of people that have contributed to putting money in his pockets. And regardless of how some people feel, they don't give, they don't give nobody a right to feel like, oh, I'm cash apping. I deserve to know everything that's going on. Second page. I deserve to know everything that's going on with him because if uh, if it was your family member, would you do that or would you be protecting your peace or mine and getting privacy? People have to understand that he's a big that his big old life and his real life are two different things. Did he have a lot of meet and greets where he met a lot of people? Yes. But I based my decision on who I know for a fact that he really messed with outside of Bigo. But even, listen, but even, listen, but even, but even with that, I got to start moving differently because I'm tired of all of this bullshit that's going on. So, yeah, please stop putting my name in the midst of this mess. She didn't ever want no money, so stop saying they need y'all to pay keep medical bills and keep bills. This woman never asked for a dime. Her name is being used because they know if they say her name, y'all gonna send it. This woman says she's not asking for no fucking money. She was told the child said make a P.O. box. She was told the child want to pay bills and send money for him and send shit. This woman says she didn't want none of y'all money because she's a registered nurse. She got her goddamn pen and she making them the $60 a motherfucking hour.
She said she don't know why her name is being mentioned in Pammy. She didn't say nothing about Pammy was stealing. She said it was brought to her this week when people came to visit. It was brought to her attention. She was taking care of her husband, wiping him down, kissing him. Keep you okay. We're going to get through this praying. And somebody say, Miss White, I hate to bother you, but were you aware of the cash outs that you were supposed to be sent to Pammy? That's what happened. Miss White, did you know, did you get any of them cash outs from Pammy? Because China 504 told Tommy K while she was down there. People been sending, we've been sending cash out to Pammy to give to Keith. After did she send it? She